Welcome to Bird News Network, brought to you by American Bird Conservancy, which works to conserve native wild birds and their habitats throughout the Americas. BNN brings you the top stories in bird conservation and ideas on how you can make a difference. This is Steve Homer reporting. Today's top story, American Bird Conservancy and its partner group Ecowan have created a new bird reserve in the northern Andes of Peru. The reserve will help prevent the extinction of some of the world's rarest birds, such as the long-whiskered owlet. Mike Parr reports from northern Peru. The forest behind me is among the most important sites for conservation in the Andes. This area is known as the key site for the long-whiskered owlet, ochre-fronted ant pitter, and royal sun angel. With me is Constantina Oka of ECOA. The Avro Patricia Private Reserve, run by ECOAN. We are above 2,400 meters. A special place because we have a lot of key birds that uh, is the main interest to protect. Behind me is going to be the future eco lodge that we are going to use for offering uh, a, a place where the bird watchers and uh, naturalists they can spend some days here and also in that way we can produce the incomes that can increase the sustainability of this uh, place. In all the entire region there isn't any biological center that can provide services for the future professionals and researchers that they can use this area. This is the one last pristine area on this entire northern Peru route that includes some of the rarest species in the world. Uh, ECOAN have also developed the second conservation concession in the whole of Peru to protect 16,000 hectares of primary forest that contains not only some of the world's rarest birds, but also one of the world's rarest primates, the yellow-tailed woolly monkey. In total, this area, plus the conservation concession, represents one of the last stands for biodiversity in this part of the world, and is an incredible and beautiful place where we hope that bird watchers and ecotourists will be able to come and enjoy this pristine forest in the future. Mike Parr, American Bird Conservancy for the Bird News Network, Abra Patricia, Peru. Thanks, Mike. In other news, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger recently signed legislation banning the use of lead bullets in the range of the endangered California condor. In 1987, the last 22 wild condors were taken into captivity due to concerns over the species' possible extinction, and a captive breeding program was started. Condors began to be reintroduced into the wild in 1996. Since then, there have been hundreds of cases of lead poisoning caused by the ingestion of lead bullet fragments by condors scavenging on the carcasses left behind by hunters. Dr. Michael Fry, who heads up American Bird Conservancy's Pesticides and Birds program, has more on this issue. There have been at least 276 cases of lead poisoning in California since the year 2000. And lead poisoning is currently the leading cause of mortality among California condors. California has shown important leadership in this legislation, and we'd like to thank the governor for signing this legislation into law. This will protect not only condors, but it will protect eagles, mountain lions, and other wildlife as well. California's ban on lead bullets will take effect for the 2008 hunting season. American Bird Conservancy will keep you posted on any new developments on this issue. For other information about bird conservation, please see American Bird Conservancy's website at www.abcbirds.org. This is Steve Homer. Thanks for joining us at the Bird News Network.